Hi, well, I'm Professor Stephen Nesheba, and I want to tell you a little bit about uh, how to integrate the Clapeyron equation along the solid-liquid phase boundary. So, just to orient you, we, uh, we have a phase diagram here, temperature on this axis, pressure on that axis, and uh, each one of these um, phase boundaries is a line of equilibrium between different phases, so that would be the solid, liquid, and gas regions. And um, uh, there's the triple point right there, which will be kind of our, our anchor for these integrations. And uh, each has a slope, which will be called uh, dp dt, the slope uh, in, in the pressure direction. Um, and uh, right now I'm going to focus on the, uh, the solid liquid phase boundary. Now the Clapeyron equation itself looks like this. It just says this, if I march along in the temperature direction, uh, a small amount, dt, then the pressure will go up by a certain amount. And how much will it go up? Well, it's going to go up by this factor. That's the uh, delta H of the transition, which in this case would be the enthalpy of fusion, which we're going to consider constant for, uh, for, this, for this process. But just uh, so you have a pictorial on that, that's the, uh, the change right at the phase boundary from solid to liquid. There would also be a volume change uh, in going from the solid to the liquid, so that would be delta V of, of fusion. Um, and then, of course, there's the temperature. Now, because uh, we have solids and liquids in there um, fairly incompressible, the change in volume doesn't depend very much uh, on temperature and pressure, especially around, around the, uh, the triple point. And uh, as I say, the enthalpy doesn't change very much either, as long as we're not changing the temperature too much. So we can just integrate this uh, equation straight up. So dp integrated becomes p evaluated from p3, our starting point, up to what I'll call p star ice liquid. p star ice liquid is, is that line. And um, that, of course, will just integrate out to being um, the pressure p star ice liquid along that line, uh, wherever, whatever temperature we want to go to, minus the starting point, which is the triple point pressure. Uh, so that's the left-hand side of that equation. On the right-hand side of that equation, we have um, this. It's, that's, we're going to consider that a constant. So the integral of 1 over t dt is just log of t. And that uh, we would also integrate from t3 out to some arbitrary temperature. And uh, because the way logs work, um, that's going to be the log of t minus log of t3, which turns into that ratio. So the right-hand side of the equation turns into this. And uh, as I say, we have the left-hand side of the equation looking like that. Therefore, um, if you want, you can say um, the uh, pressure uh, along that phase boundary would, if I move this to the right, would be the triple point pressure plus that correction factor. And this is uh, the Thompson equation right here. And uh, again, the Thompson equation is what gives you the, uh, the uh, phase boundary, the equation for the phase boundary along a solid-liquid uh, phase equilibrium boundary. Okay.